How will the evolution of AI continue to build upon the foundation of smart city technology to become more efficient, sustainable, and responsive to citizens' needs? Welcome to City Digital, presented by DigiKey. Powered by Molex, ST Microelectronics, and SupplyFrame. In this episode, we explore how modern cities are partnering with industry leaders and educational institutions to improve the safety and efficiency of transportation in tomorrow's smart cities. M-City at the University of Michigan is a hub for research, development, and deployment of new mobility innovations. Here, innovators can test next-generation vehicle capabilities for safety, efficiency, and more. Welcome to the M-City test facility. This is about 32 acres of real-world proving ground, so it is meant to represent North American communities to be able to test the brains of these transportation systems rather than the bones and muscles of a traditional proving ground, you know, where you might test the tires and that sort of thing, the suspension, powertrain. Here, we're more focused on its behavior. You can tell the machine is a better driver than I am. AutoWare is an open source automated driving system. And so once we turn it on, this vehicle will drive itself. We call it the test safe test. You can see the opposing vehicle or that there might be a crash over here. We just near me is that crash. You can see that opposing vehicle come in and this vehicle stopped over there and avoid the crash. We recently installed a dynamic wireless charging road for companies to integrate their vehicle with the roadbed. What you can see are actually the coils in what would normally be covered by four to, to six inches of asphalt on a normal road. But here we have them exposed so we can test different parameters, we can test different materials for them, that kind of thing. Public transit is the no-brainer use case for this kind of technology. The current state of the art of batteries with electric buses is about half the runtime of diesel for the university's fleet. We run 22 hours a day on a tank of diesel, and we can only run about 10 hours on the largest battery bus, which, by the way, is twice the cost. Instead, on route charging has got to come into the picture to help us offset that. M City, as a test facility, is not only a dedicated proving ground for autonomous vehicles and also connected vehicles, but also for other smart city technologies as well, related with water, pavement, building, and things like that. So you can think of this as a maker space that you can try out different type of technologies related with smart city. You know, this is normally a meter socket you see at the edge of your house. We're able to plug the collar in. It measures the voltage and current through the circuit here. And then, you know, we can use that data to run some of our AI models in their, their carbon platform. We're really hoping to get heavier computing to the edge of the grid and use that to manage those resources better than what's currently happening. We try and produce graduates from the university if you're going into engineering, if you're going into law, if you're going into public policy, who know and understand these technologies and are able to bring them to our society in the most beneficial way possible. The technology really serves as an enabler and nothing more. It can be used in any manner of ways. It's our job to make sure it's used in, in ways that address the issues in safety, equity, accessibility, and efficiency. Driving the future of vehicle design, Molex has a growing catalog of interconnect solutions, focusing on connectivity, autonomous driving, electrification, and the in-vehicle experience. The overarching theme of the smart city is connectivity. The entire city is connected both from a vehicle standpoint as well as an infrastructure standpoint. Any type of system within the smart city can be interconnected or developed around a Molex system or some type of a topography that Molex is already developing or has ready to go. DigiKey is one of our key suppliers in terms of getting parts quickly. They specialize in, in an overnight delivery model where they've got well over a million parts in stock. You go online, push a button, and typically, you know, if, if you hit that button by six or seven o'clock in the evening, you can have the part the next day. We have roughly around 140, 160 interconnect suppliers here at DigiKey. 
and we work with them directly as business relationships grow. So we want to make sure that we are providing our customers everything that they need for their infrastructures. We're a very large connector manufacturer. We prefer large orders scheduled out over a long period of time. A company like DigiKey takes care of that in-between system where we have customers that need something right away. And to me, that's a vital part of getting our products designed in quickly and, again, growing our business for the long term. Adding any type of artificial intelligence into the industry, when you're looking at 10 or 15 years ago, it was so different than it is currently. And then as you move into the future, it's going to be so much more different. So we need to make sure that at DigiKey that we have the products available to offer them the advancements that they need to implement artificial intelligence into their designs and their infrastructures. We're still a few years away from, I think, autonomous systems being better than humans and safer, but that day is coming. And what we're gonna do in the meantime to make sure that it arrives in a way that's safe and that's equitable and accessible is the key thing. What's the reliability of your access to transportation? Can you safely and efficiently get to your job? Can you get to healthcare? Can you get to food? Those are the kinds of themes that underpin all of the things that we're doing here, which makes us a very rewarding job, you know, at the end of the day, because those are your motivations. With AI, future smart cities can bring order to the chaos of daily transportation, enhance sustainability, and so much more. As these technologies enter our world, it's important to ensure they are deployed in a safe and ethical manner to realize the vision for City Digital.